In this video we experiment with air pumps and track valves. We wanted to find out if there really is a risk for water siphoning out of your tank in the case of a power outage or a malfunction, and if check valves really are necessary. We started out with the recommended setup if you are not using valves, placing the pump higher than the water level. We simulate power outage by disconnecting the airline. Not surprisingly, everything is okay. There is no returning water. We will now try to do it the wrong way. We place the tank higher than the pump. According to the manual, this may cause water to siphon out of the tank. Once again, we simulate power outage by disconnecting the airline. The water returns, but it stops at the surface level. We try again to see if we can make it leak. But the same thing happens. It looks like the chances for a leak isn't very high. But what if your aquarium or tank is filled to the brim? Could this cause a leak if there is a power outage? No, it still looks like the water will stop at edge. To make sure, we try it some more times. This doesn't work, let's try something else. In our test setup the airline is fairly straight, but this won't always be the case. Let's see what happens if we try to coil up the airline. First time we get the same results, but let's try again. This time it looks like water is trapped between air bubbles and escapes the tank. Let's simulate a series of power outages. As you can see, more and more bubbles are trapped for each outage. And eventually there is enough water in the line outside the tank to start the siphoning process. Okay, this looks promising. It looks like the water is starting to siphon out of the tank. Not a it's a bit hard to see on the picture here, but the water is now flowing out of the tank and into the bowl. This proves that under very unfortunate circumstances, water can actually siphon out of your tank. This can eventually empty out your tank through the pump. Now let's try the same with a check wall connected. We disconnect the pump and as you can see no water is returning. It is held by the valve. If we disconnect the valve, the water starts flowing back and stops at the surface level. To sum it up, 
water really can leak out of your tank through the airline, even though it's not very likely to happen. It is safest to put the pump higher than the tank, but if you have to put it lower, you really should use check valves.